You already know what it is. It's your boy Lay Back with another reaction, another review, another episode. Hey, news top five. You up to bat. Bah. Bitch, I'm drowning up in it. Most of you niggas is lazy. Half of you niggas full gazy. Yeah, I be spitting that crack shit. Cause I was born in the It's your boy Lay Back. Welcome back to my channel. Hey, two things we gotta do. You gotta hit that subscribe button. I'm drinking this water. You already know what it is, man. Focus on you in 2022 focus on you in 2022 we back with another nukes top five man another scary video man this is top five scary ghost videos to scream along to now i need you to draw with you in the chat in the comments man if you with me let me know that you with me i know it's been a while y'all know i'm not a big fan of this y'all know i'm not let's go ahead and get into it fire squad what's popping let's get it Five ghosts caught on camera, followed home. Now, longtime viewers of my channel might remember that almost one year ago, I featured a series of videos by a young Dutch woman named Sabia L. Sabia claimed that her apartment in the Netherlands was haunted by something that lurked in the shadows, something dark and sinister. Oh, hell no, nah. hell no, nah. hell no, nah. oh, hell no. Nah. Bro, I'm already shook, bro. Chills already in my body right now. Man, get the fuck out of there. Oh, no. As time went by, the paranormal activity in Sabia's apartment intensified becoming so terrifying that Sabia began to live in abject fear of whatever evil presence might be haunting her home. Why don't she move? Why is she Nine still months living ago, there? Sabia L suddenly just stopped posting to YouTube entirely leaving her concerned fans and followers wondering just what happened. But then, just three months ago, Sabia made a surprise return to her YouTube channel. She posted only one short video. The post was a positive one, letting her followers know that she had finally saved up enough money to move out of her terrifying haunted apartment. Thank God. The 30 second video shows Sabia giving one final walkthrough of the empty apartment. Her optimistic video title proclaimed, Last Video haunted apartment in the Netherlands. No more poltergeist activity for me. As you might guess, Sabia L's nightmarish story did not end there. Sabia says that she experienced months of peace and relaxation in her new home. But then strange and disturbing things begin to happen all over again. The odd events quickly became more and more unsettling. Hell One nah. night, the lights in her hallway begin to flicker. So she pulls out her phone and begins to record. She encounters something absolutely oh, I'm scared horrifying. Oh, I'm scared as fuck. I'm scared as fuck. I'm scared as fuck. Dat ligt knippen er weer. Aan het uit en al. In het nieuwe huis. Bro, I'm scared as fuck, bro. Dat. <laughs> I'm scared as fuck. Don't go. Oh, darn it. Why is she going over there? No, 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 no. Oh, I darn it. I don't want to look. I don't want to look. Oh. 
Harvey. Helemaal klaar mee. Did you see it? No, no. Sabia turns away from the hallway as a light fixture suddenly moves on its own. When she turns back, the hall light has gone out again, and something dark and menacing seems to be waiting there for her. Whatever it is then seems to charge up the stairs, but understandably, Sabia does not follow. Oh. Sabia L believes that the dark malevolent being that haunted her old apartment has now followed her to her new home. But what do you think? Let me know down in the comments. You can watch this video as well as all of Sabia L's past terrifying encounters over on her channel, Sabia L. A window to the soul. So this is a story that starts weird and just gets weirder. But first, a little bit of history. Way back in 1679, Irish Catholic priest Oliver Plunkett was arrested for supporting the Catholic faith, which at the time was considered a serious criminal offense by the English monarchy. He was held in Newgate Prison in London before being executed. Bro, fuck and up. so here's where things get really weird. Over 240 years later, in 1921, Oliver Plunkett's head, yes, just his head, was brought to St. Peter's Church in Drawheda, Ireland, where it was put on display in a garish, ornately decorated glass box. The St. Peter's Church also placed on display the prison door of Oliver Plunkett's jail cell from Newgate Prison, where Plunkett was held for eight months before his execution. YouTube user Vicky Bramshaw was on vacation when she visited St. Peter's Church in Drawheda, Ireland. She is recording the exhibit of Oliver Plunkett's jail cell door when she catches something Absolutely unnerving. This is the door of the cell in Newgate Prison, where St. Oliver Plunkett was imprisoned for eight months. This is a very most interesting figure because he was, an, he was one of the first ecumenical Christian priests. There is a small opening in the ancient jail cell door, and some pale, ghostly face just seems to peek out of it at them. Vicky says she has no idea what this face could be. She says she has no knowledge of visual effects to fake something like this, and she didn't even notice the face until she reviewed her footage later. So is this the ghost of Oliver Plunkett still peering from his old jail cell door? Or is it just a very, very odd trick of the light? You decide. Before we move on to the next video, if you see anything that you think should be included in the top five, contact us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. The Haunting Tales of Chernobyl On April 26, 1986, reactor number four in the Chernobyl nuclear power plant exploded, resulting in the worst nuclear catastrophe in history. A total of 117,000 people were evacuated but many suffered horrific tragic deaths as lethal levels of radiation swept over the countryside. To this day, the land around the reactor is still highly radioactive. Damn. It has been deserted for over 35 years. Italian paranormal investigators Paolo, Debbie, Jack, and Simone from the YouTube channel Pit Paranormal Investigation have the unique opportunity to explore and investigate the abandoned ghost town surrounding the Chernobyl power plant. Experienced tour guide Alex safely escorts the group through the dangerous area. The pit team begins their journey in Pripyat, the city closest to the Chernobyl power plant. The nervous investigators soon realize that they have to conduct their investigation in an entirely different way than normal, as everything around them is highly contaminated with radioactive fallout. 
e eh. dobbiamo completamente cancellare tutte le abitudini che abbiamo ed è una cosa difficilissima, è difficilissimo ma anche solo appoggiare uno zaino momentaneamente per terra non si può appoggiare non lo so un ginocchio per terra per legarti la scarpa non si può raga è veramente una cosa difficile guardate solo così cioè, questo è un contatore Geiger eh, misura le radiazioni Solo per dirvela brevemente, siamo a 1,40, 1,50 e contate che la soglia massima, massima è 0,30. Now most of the abandoned buildings in Pripyat are extremely dangerous to enter, so it's illegal to go inside most structures. For this reason, investigator Paolo has brought along a small remote controlled car with an attached GoPro. He carefully drives it into one of the abandoned structures as he records. After a bit of exploring with the RC car, he stops it inside and leaves the camera recording in an attempt to capture anything out of the ordinary. When they review their footage, the team is shocked. Now, as I mentioned before, Paolo and his team are all outside and no one is allowed into this building. So what is this? A strange shadow moves from right to left, seemingly followed by two other strange shadow anomalies. Soon the investigators are forced to leave the area as they can only be exposed to the high radiation level for a limited time. Another night and the Pit Paranormal team has the unique opportunity to explore the abandoned old Chernobyl hospital. Obviously the building was the site of intense tragedy and suffering as many passed away here during the Chernobyl meltdown. Damn. It is said that their spirits still haunt the hospital. The pit team brings all of their equipment, hoping to properly investigate the hospital and maybe even make contact with any spirits that might inhabit the building. What they capture is truly bizarre. At night, too, they wild. He shook, bro. A strange unexplained sound startles the pit paranormal team. Paolo grabs his thermal camera and starts to record. What happens next is downright chilling. I turned on the camera, yes. What kind of noise was it? Yeah, it sounded like an object that moved. But the problem is that there, I can't even. I'm so shook, I can't even read this shit. Could it be something in the room or was it in the hallway? We didn't really hear it. Could it be a closet? Raga, voi due siete i nostri occhi. Poi. Anche te già che siete i nostri occhi. This music, Nukas. Who's there? Is anybody here? A creepy figure seems to appear but can only be seen through the thermal camera. Inexplicably, the figure seems to emit more and more heat. Paolo and cameraman Simone approach the apparition and they discover something terrifying. 
Man, they tripping in this mode. Footsteps? The door? He looks Paolo and Simone are shocked as the thermal camera reveals footprints on the floor in the room right next to where the figure appeared. The door slams shut and locks, separating Debbie and cameraman Jack. Oh, and shit. Now, they too encounter something terrifying Separate. out in the hospital hall. Arriva da quella porta, c'è una porta socchiusa, Debbie. Arriva da quella porta lì. Arriva da quella porta lì. Arriva da quella porta lì, è socchiusa. C'è una voce. Did you hear it? The two nervous investigators capture a deep breath-like voice on camera. Cos'è? Porta lì. Arriva da quella porta lì, è socchiusa. C'è una voce. Eventually, the team is reunited and they leave Chernobyl believing that they did in fact make contact with some of the ghosts of Chernobyl's past. I highly recommend that you check out Pit Paranormal's eight-part Chernobyl series. All eight videos have subtitles in multiple languages, including English. Excessively Haunted now, if you're a regular Nuke's Top 5 viewer, you know that oh. I've featured the popular paranormal YouTube channel Really Haunted many times. Homeowners Lee and his wife Stacy have experienced increasingly violent paranormal activity in their home in England for years now. This shit and getting heavy, man. it just seems to keep getting worse. This shit getting heavy, man. I remember this shit. Oh, shit. What the fuck? Why? <sighs> What's up? Back. Lee's wife Stacy says that since the bed incident, she is so scared of the violent poltergeist in their house that she often just avoids sleeping in their home. What the fuck? I stayed in the caravan a bit before that, but that was the once was that the happened, I never went back in the house after that. Over the four months since I last featured Really Haunted, Lee says that the activity in his home has only become more intense Yo. and frightening. This shit crazy, man. This shit is too crazy, man. This shit getting crazy, man. What? Stop. Set. Lee says that he refuses to leave his home, regardless of the extreme poltergeist activity. Why? But facing off against a malevolent spirit is not easy. He Late one night, Lee hears leave. noises outside his second story bedroom. He gets up to investigate, but it did not go well. In the meantime, we're gonna go for He wildin'. I'm out of that bitch. She left. Left your ass right in there. What happened? He got through? It threw him? Oh. 
something seems to violently push Lee, launching him backwards. And whatever pushed him now wants in the room. Hell no. The knife. That's the attic. Bro, you got to get the fuck on, bro. I can hit me doing both at once. So is Lee's house, quote, really haunted? As always, I leave that to you to decide. To see the full story and videos of Lee's encounter with the dark presence that terrorizes his home, I highly recommend checking out the YouTube channel, Really Haunted. Unwelcome. Fuck Paranormal that. investigator Sandro Silva from the YouTube channel Casa Sobrenatural sets out to explore an abandoned home in Brazil. The house is said to be extremely haunted by multiple dark spirits. He's joined by his two friends, Macon and Klimerson, as they carefully walk through the rubble of the deserted structure. The air feels heavy as the team reflects on the ominous atmosphere. Suddenly, they get an unexpected fright. Passou uma certa energia muito pesada mano, nessa casa, sinistra, mano, muito cabuloso, cara. Os cabelos de cabelo. Meu Deus do céu, Sandro. Que muito ruim. Você viu o barulho, mano? Que muito ruim. 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 What's that noise? Ah, foi nitidamente quebrou, mano. Caiu, quebrou, mano. Os cabelos pra. Os cabelos pra. Os cabelos pra. Pesada. Vocês viram que caiu a teia ali, mano. Nossa, foi nítido, cara. Quebrou, mano. Você é Leslie. Vamos arpar o pé daí, mano. Mano, caiu a teia ali, velho. Pô, como é que jogar a teia em cima da nossa cabeça? É louco? Tem alguma coisa aqui, cara, que não quer nós aqui, mano. Não. The three friends suspect a roof tile has fallen nearby and discuss whether it's safe to continue their investigation. But before they can even reach a decision, things take a terrifying turn. Oh, hell no. I'm dropping the camera and I'm out there, bitch. I'm not looking at that shit. How long is it gonna be on the camera? Oh, my God, if you don't know what I saw there, you know what I saw there. Calm down, man. What the fuck? I saw a child. I saw a child, man. Of course, man. Let's go, man. You didn't see it? I didn't see it. Oh, my God, I saw a child here, man. Why is he still right there? What? Cara, primeira vez, cara. Mas que que uma criança vai estar aqui, cara? Será que morreu uma criança aqui, cara? Cara, mas já começou a cair uma teia, cara. Aí você grita que viu alguma coisa que é... o cara que eu vou correr. Mas eu não vi nada, cara. Ó. Oh, tá andando, mano. Tá andando, velho. Tá andando, mano. Ó, oh, meu Deus, Deus, Deus. Nossa senhora, caiu uma telha ali, cara. Você tá doido, mano. This shit crazy, this shit crazy. Cara, tem que pra caramba. Você tá doido, velho. Sandro is shocked as he sees the pale apparition of a child right in front of him. He gathers his courage and checks out the area, but there's no one there. Then another roof tile falls and the three friends just make a run for it. So did the Casa Sobrenatural team capture the ghost of a child on camera? Let me know what you think. Thanks so much for watching. All right, that was top five scary ghost videos to scream along to, bro. That was the scariest one, bro. Ah. Uh...
uh if they like this from now on I, I, don't, I don't know if i'm gonna be able to finish these If you made it to the end, drop real one. I'm fucked up. Now y'all see why I don't do these so often, man. These joints be messy. This shit was crazy. Till next time, self-love and positivity. Fire Squad, I got you and you know it. Hey, yo.